And now to our continuing coverage of Black History Month. The African American Research Library and Cultural Center in Fort Lauderdale opened in 2002, and its art gallery has hosted dozens of major exhibits. On display right now, an extraordinary poster art exhibition in collaboration with Hampton Art Lovers. CBS4 photojournalist Bruno Giglio shows it to us. Well, the collection was developed as an educational tool, as well as a display of fine art. What you see here are uh, African-American fine art exhibition posters. It's like a documentary of a, an event, an art event, uh, by what I would call the, the masters of black art. And these are all individually signed by the artists which makes it even more special. From this exhibition, you will learn about black art history, you will learn about black history, and you will learn about the history of posters. This is, is, is walking us through the Harlem Renaissance. This piece is called Tar Beach. Very popular image because it was a children's book uh, that Faith Ringgold did, uh, I believe in the early 90s. It began as a painting, it is a painting, a huge painting, and what it's showing is a storybook quilt painting, and this is an oversized poster of the exhibition that took place when this painting first was released. This is showing that black middle class folk existed in Harlem. And when these images came out, this was, um, this was, was surprised a lot, a lot of America. Congo Square in New Orleans is known as uh, a place that historically black culture has been on display in ways in which it has not been able to be on display over hundreds of years. We have this balafon. And this is um, a similar to the xylophone, but predates the xylophone. And this is an African instrument owned by the library, which is in incredible uh, that we were able to display this within the context of black music. My hope is that people who come through here will recognize that you don't have to be wealthy to collect art and that you can look at a poster a different way and think, wow, this can be something that is valuable to me because I love the imagery, I love what it's saying. And you can visit the exhibition Ebony Broadside Celebration of the Masters through March 31st at the African American Research Library and Cultural Center in Fort Lauderdale.